Hi, my name is Jordan. And I'm Jalen. And today we are at Wakefield Middle School with Ariana DeBose. Hi. One of the star one of the original stars of Hamilton the musical. Thanks for being with us today. Can you tell us about your role in Hamilton? No, oh, well, thank you for having me today. I'm very excited to be with you. I was the original bullet in Hamilton the musical. So I portrayed this inanimate object that kills Alexander Hamilton in the very famous duel between, between him and Aaron Burr. What is it like being at Hamilton, or what was it like being at Hamilton? You know, it was awesome. It was really fabulous. You know, it's, it's, we've never had a show like it on Broadway. It really took the world by storm. Um, you know, how many times have you heard of the President of the United States quoting your show? That's pretty awesome. <laughs> you know, the, the star power that flocked to see us was really cool. I got to meet so many of my idols and I got so many great opportunities to perform. The White House, the Grammys, the Tonys. And I got great opportunities to talk with kids like you, you know what I mean? And give them opportunities to perform for us. And, and that was really awesome. It, was, it afforded me a lot of opportunities that I might not have had in other shows. So that was really cool. You are a graduate of Wake Forest Roseville High School. Cougar pride! <laughs> <laughs> what did you do at Wake Forest Roseville that prepared you to be in Hamilton? Oh, I was a part of every single arts program that I could possibly find. I was in the marching band, the concert band, I was president of the chorus department, I was in the dance department, I was in art club and photography club, um, and I, I was a part of uh, Troop, which was like their, their elite uh, theater group, <laughs> and I was, participated in a lot of musicals. So I did everything, everything. I was so curious. just wanted to, I wanted to perform. It was great. <sighs> Um, your mom is one of our teachers here. <laughs> yeah. What did she do that helped prepare you to be in Hamilton? Well, lucky for me, my mother, Ms. DeBose, um, is a history teacher, which is perfect since Hamilton is about one of our founding fathers, and I believe he's in your eighth grade curriculum. So she encouraged me to um, explore history in a different way, to not just uh, read, your, read my textbook, but to really go and visit different monuments, and she would take me on trips to um, to Washington, D.C., and it, it gave me a different way to look at history, because sometimes history can be boring. You know, who wants to read a textbook <laughs> right, all the time? So she gave me um, different opportunities to, to really dive in and learn about the history of our country, and, um, you know, I remember the way she taught Reconstruction, the Reconstruction era was awesome. And, and the way she taught um, Native American history was, you know, it was really hands-on and she taught me about the different tribes and all these other different things. But it all led me to Hamilton, I think. It's great. What does it entail to prepare yourself for a show, including rehearsals, costuming, warming up? Oh, a lot. It entails a lot. Like, uh, probably too much to tell you everything that I do to prepare for a show, but you know, there's there's warming up. There's um, not only your body, but your voice and your mind, because you have to be present in every moment. There's putting your makeup on and getting dressed. And um, as far as rehearsing goes, we rehearse for you know months, months to try and and get it together. I mean, not six months, but. Um, we do have a, a couple of months to really gather our thoughts and, and tech the show and make rewrites and adjustments. So I have to be very quick on my feet. You know, someone says, okay, so yesterday you were on eight. Now you're going to go to 16 and you're going to do a different step. So it's, it's that sort of thing. It's about being malleable, about being easy to work with. You always want to be the energy that you would want to work with in the room, right? Bring your best self. So it takes, it takes a lot of stamina, a lot of... Um, a lot of uh, intellect, much more than I think some people realize, and just just the ability to to be kind and cordial and and malleable. I think that's good. 
Um, of all the things you did during your childhood, what do you think most prepared you for like all your acting roles? What do you think really helped you get stronger in like your theater position? That's a very good question. I had a very vivid imagination when I was your age. So I like to put on little plays <laughs> alone though, like in my bedroom, you know, singing in the shower, all that sort of thing. Um, but I think just allowing myself to be creative and being so curious, like I said, I was in all those different arts programs. Granted, I was so lucky to have a school that had all of those different arts programs. Um, but being curious and being involved helped me get to where I am today. Because it taught me a lot of different skills. That's People don't realize when you work in the entertainment industry, things like riding a bike are also very useful uh, in addition to singing and acting. It's great because when you're acting, you're playing a real person, right? So I don't need to just look pretty, I need to be a real person and, and have the skills like making toast. Real people make toast. You never know when someone's gonna ask you to make toast on stage. So I think those things are what, what really help me. Do you have a message to share with the students in Wake County? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I would tell all of you to be as curious as possible. If there's something you're interested in, get online, Google it, ask questions. That's why your teachers are there. They're there to help you and support you in whatever passion that you have. It's, it's okay to be ambitious. It is okay to want to succeed. Let no one stand in your way. Don't take no for an answer. And work really hard to accomplish your goals because it doesn't happen without hard work. Your teachers are there to support you, not to give it to you. So buckle down, be a lady boss, or just a boss, <laughs> and go after your goals full force, because you can do it. I did it, you can do it, all of you can do it. Well, we've been talking to Ariana DuVos from <laughs> yeah, the it. original <laughs> cast of Hamilton the Musical. Thank you. You're so welcome, thank you for having me. Thank you, Mr. Bose, my name is Jordan. And I'm Jalen. <laughs> Have a great day, guys.